Hey lizards, it's a normal Tuesday in Northwest Arkansas and I've chosen a residential neighborhood to film this vlog because I felt it suiting for the content matter that I'm about to discuss. So I got my day going late. I hate that, you know, when everything seems late and because you woke up late. I almost slept through my psychiatry appointment. Yes, I am taking care of my mental health. I am on a very low dose of an antidepressant medication, the lowest dose, just to kind of soften the blow. You know, the, the sadness is still there. She asked me if today if I still have anxiety and like road rage. I'm like, yeah, did you see the report yesterday? So I was up front with her and I told her, you know, 2040, that's the max. She had to be professional and couldn't, couldn't react, you know, as in a way that if you were a sane, normal person would react. She was just like, oh, I had to bite her tongue. But I got that done and I was still kind of in a dreamy state, getting my day going, getting on the road. I had some dreams about like yelling at people, like showing them, you know, every point one of a degree matters, but we don't even live in the global average. You know, we don't even live, the extremes that we'll be feeling are, you know, they're above baseline, and I know that we're headed for 5C, but for the sake of this video, I'm going to keep it simple for all the normies that might just stumble upon my channel and decide to subscribe and unsubscribe. My subscriber count can never stay the same, but I tend to hover around the 780 range. So anyways, it occurred to me, in addition to the basic denialism that we talk about, I really honestly don't know how a sane and intelligent person can look at this lifestyle that we're living, this America. Every one of these homes has a mouth to feed, a toilet to flush. You gotta be shitting me. Given our current oil and energy needs, you think we can sustain this even for the next six to eight years? At this level, like when you go to a street corner, any city you're in, I know you guys live all over the world, I live in a town about 90,000 people, but still, on the highway, on the main road, not even the highway, thousands of cars pass. And that's going on everywhere in the world all the time. Not just cars, the whole system, agriculture, all of it. All the time. And you're telling me that can keep going and we'll be just fine. You are so delusional. And the point of this video is to say it occurred to me today, as it has before, since I've done my self work. I wrote about it. But the more that you push back, the more that you're in denial, the more that you look away, the longer it's building up, and the more you'll have to process what's coming. You'll have to, you'll have to go through what we went through, and you won't have the time. You'll have to go through that in like a week. And just gonna be completely real, you know, suicide's gonna be everywhere. You think this is sustainable? You think this is sustainable? What a joke. I know he heard me. <laughs> and so the best science, the charts, you don't want to look at those charts in the IPCC that was just published yesterday, which is really stark. You want to ignore the massive wildfires and the energy infrastructure going down or is not kept. You, want to, you don't even want to look at that. This is infinite. This is infinite. We have unlimited oil and energy. The more you're going to want to kill yourself. And I'm filming here because this is the site of mass death. Even here, no, no place is untouched. And all of these homes will be people contemplating why they're even living. Why were they in denial for so long? Very scary. Very scary. Dog is, you know, 
Can't tell his owners. So I just wanted to I just wanted to come out and say this. Everyone here knows this, but I want to say it for the record that there will be suicide everywhere. No place will be untouched. <laughs> Just go skim through the latest IPCC and and tell me everything is fine. Okay? I'll chat with you guys later. Peace.